Hello, welcome to the tiny trailer workshop. Well, I have here today, <laughs> I have a piece of fig and well, I'm curious, let's see what happens. I'm gonna put the, the worm screw in there and in there and we'll turn this into something good. Sounds like a plan. I, I have no idea what it's going to be. No idea at all. It's just one of those ones that look cool. So, and the green tape on there was just because something that I was doing a while ago was uh, sitting a little a little loose, so we patted it some. That's not entirely the strongest thing I've ever seen either. So let's see if I can do this without killing the... Let's see. Okay, so let's see what we can do. It does work. How come that went around a minute ago? See, that's looking awfully suspicious. That's looking like it could be pretty cool. Uh, Fig has this big white pith that's really, really soft. And we'll probably just blow it with an air compressor. Um, I think I'll put a little CA in here. I don't know if it'll help or not, but uh, it can't hurt. Let's see what happens. Give that some time to dry now. That's the medium CA, and uh, I think it's probably dinner time. So I'll go do that and come back when it's when it's dry. Alrighty, hang on. Okay, so now this glue is definitely dry. It's had a couple hours. 
So we'll uh, see where it goes from here. Alrighty. Alrighty, I think it's time to to sand this up, and then we'll see about turning around, and getting the, uh, the bottom off of there. Okay, so now we have it all sanded up. Um, I think I'm going to turn it around before I put a finish on it, and I think I'm going to put just a a spray lacquer on it this time just because yeah, it's got places that you can't get to otherwise 
Anyhow, let's uh, see what we can do about turning this around. We got that on the bottom. So we're going to put this in. And we're going to make a jam chuck. So, there we have a fig bowl. Uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. I like the splits. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. Anyhow, I'll just put my, my giant hammer on here. go put some some spray lacquer on this and I'll put pictures up at the end and you'll be able to to see everything that there was talk to you soon after talk. <laughs> Here we are for the 11th, 11th time. It's amazing how fast two years is approaching. It's only a month or so away now. This piece of wood was not the kind of one that you'd find in your average bull blank store. Um, it, uh, it certainly presented a few challenges and uh, Lots of character. Um, I wasn't too surprised when it came off the chuck because a third of the tenon was the bark enclosure where the chuck wasn't included. I thought about trying to keep the branch on the top, but there was only going to be one of them, and I wasn't so sure about that one either. So I decided to take them off completely. I like the bowl for the green patterns and for the colors in it. And and more it had the, I don't know what you'd call it, the tortured twisting of the, the sinews to cause it to split. So I'm sure that Stephen King could have put that better, but uh, you know what I mean. This guy here uh, just came over to let me know that, that Cedric is still out and about. Um, it seems that he's just bitten off a little bit more than he can chew at the moment. Oh, no, not quite. He can do it. He will do it. But it's going to take him a little bit. Um, so, that's good. Um, I, I'd also like to send a shout out to, uh, to Miguel Sanchez. Miguel is not a, a new YouTube turner. He's had a channel for quite some time, but it's been in Spanish. And that's cool some great wood turning he's now added an english version of that channel so not only do we get to see what he does we get to, to hear what he does too which is cool so if you haven't been there already i would suggest to stop by and have a look at, at uh, miguel's channel i'm sure you uh, you won't be disappointed well i think that's about it for me um 
I want to thank you all for watching. And, uh, well, I hope to see you all here next time. Bye for now.